Good evening. My name is Blake and I am here at the Wu Ye Mall. The Wu Ye Mall is a mall, it's a franchise. We used to live in a place called Tongjiang and this city, this little town also had the Wu Ye Mall. And now we live in Nanshuin, the district of Hujo in the city of Hujo. And guess what? They also have the Wu Ye Mall. The Wu Ye Mall is a Chinese mall that I want to show you. My wife and I love to come here about once a month, about twice a month before having a baby, but maybe once a month in the future, probably, but we go here for dinner dates, lunch dates. Sometimes I take her shopping here. I can't really shop here because when you're a bigger size like myself, it is hard to shop for um, at Chinese malls. You need to go to a big city where they have foreign brands. So I want to show you a tour of this mall very Chinese mall, but it's very family friendly, very good, and it's always crowded every time I go to a Wuye Mall. Let's go inside and I'll show you around. Every time I come to a Wuye Mall, I'm always the only foreigner. My wife and I are always the only foreigners. I never see foreigners here. And every time I come here, a lot of the children are always so happy to see me. They see the foreigner. I get many stares, a lot of looks. So that's the case whenever I come to the Wuye Mall. As I said, Chinese people come here. They have, only things they have here are Chinese brands, Chinese clothing, Chinese jewelry, Chinese sunglasses. So everything here is Chinese, but maybe it's not your thing if you're a foreigner and you don't wanna shop here, but let me show you how these stores are still very high end, still very good. This mall has a Nike and Adidas store. The Wuye Mall in the last place I lived in had a Uniqlo, but this place um, has Nike and Adidas. First thing on the agenda is to show the Nike and Adidas store. Let's go to Nike first. So this is a Nike store. We got your sneakers here. Typical Nike store, but as you see, the shoe sizes are a little smaller. So if you are someone who's got big feet like myself, perhaps your better option is to go online for shopping, or you could go to a bigger city where they perhaps have bigger sizes. But as you see, the shoe selection isn't bad. Typical Nike store. Got some clothes, your clothes section. As you see, the sizes are a little smaller. In Asia, when it comes to shopping, it's typically got smaller sizes. You might get lucky sometimes and you could find a bigger size, but you get what I'm saying. It typically has smaller sizes. So if you're a bigger size, it'll be harder to shop. But you have some interesting designs like this. Okay, for 760 UN, not a bad deal. Typical Nike hoodie. How much are these? Seems like there's a sale, 70% off. 649 UN. You got the sweatpants. Got the jacket for 899 UN. But as I said, if you go to the very back, still a little smaller. This size at the very back of the rack is extra large. So you get my point. Typically in Asian countries, it is harder to shop if you're a bigger size. Go to a big city. I've been shopping in Hangzhou and Shanghai. Not bad for someone of bigger size. So I just gave you a tour of the Nike store here. Not bad, but someone like myself who wants to shop here, not gonna work out for me. So how about I take it to the Adidas store really quick.
as you can see, not a bad selection, but if you are of a bigger size, it'll be challenging to shop here, probably impossible. We got many good deals here. This sweater for 699 UN. This hoodie for 599 UN. This shirt for 499 UN. A little pricier. Winter jackets tend to be a little more expensive. This is almost 1200 UN. Sweatpants are on sale. Here are your shoe selection. Not bad. Typical Adidas store. You got your options of shoes, lifestyle, and running shoes. A pair of shoes in China at Adidas, you get them for anywhere from 799 UN. You get a sale for 699 UN, 849 UN, or you go a little cheap, 499 UN. So, you see all the deals. Not that bad. Here's your men's section. Same concept, smaller sizes. So if you're a foreigner and you want to shop at a mall like this, and you're of a smaller size, you can shop here. I have bought Adidas clothes in China, but I did it in a big city. So you have to travel. But at Wuye Mall, I don't think they have the large sizes, but the shoe selection also isn't bad. You also got your deals. 999 UN, 799 UN, Okay, 849 UN. Okay, you got your little classic look. Got these brands, these shoes. You get the gist. 999 UN. You got sales up to 799. You get the gist. So prices are here are not that bad. This isn't bad material. 999 UN. Let's see what the biggest size is. The biggest size is going to be, this size is a 2XL. So it will fit, but it'll be too tight. I would need a 3XL in China, but it's not a bad design. It's cool. Got your jackets. Let's see what the biggest size is. The biggest size is, what is it? 3XL, so maybe this will fit me. Typically, in the United States, I wear a 2XL, but in China, it's better to get three, so that probably would fit me. So there you have it. Get your Adidas store, get your jackets, your accessories, your clothes, your socks. There you go. Now, my wife claims that this mall has fake brands. And perhaps some of you foreigners who are in China watching this video would say the same thing. So essentially, there is some there are some stores here like Champion, like Asics, like New Balance, maybe some Air Jordans, but they are the Chinese version. They have their own names. So for example, Champion is called Chimpton. This sweatshirt, this fall jacket I bought here is from Chimpton. Some of you would say, oh, it's fake. Why did you buy it? But for me, it's good quality. I liked it. There is also New Balance here, but it is not called New Balance. It is called New Balloon. So I will take you inside these stores. There's uh, another store, A6, but it has its own name. So how about I take you inside these stores and show you how they look very similar to Champion, New Balance, and A6, and you decide for yourself if it's fake or even if it is fake, would you buy it? Let's go to Chimpton first. You've got the regular champion logo, but it is not the real champion. It is Chimptima. You got the champion logo on these clothes for 699 for this little shirt. It says Chimptima. Got this. And as you see on the tag, it has the champion logo, but it's not really champion. You've got this. 
Champion logo. As you see, not bad quality. It's just as good, but not the real champion. Got this hat. You get the same hat at a other real champion store. Denim jackets, normal jackets, fall jackets, sweatshirts, you got your jeans. Yep. This one looks like a champion shoe. You get the gist. So you got your shoes here, your sneakers. Here you go. You decide for yourself. Would you buy these clothes? Or is it too fake for you? Personally, I don't care. Looks good. As long as it's good quality, I will buy anything. Anyway, this is the store. Your little jackets here on sale. Okay, you get the gist. How much is this jacket? Does it show? 999 yuan. Okay, there you go. I bought this jacket for 899 yuan. And I like it. My wife thinks it's nice too. So let's go to New Balance and let's take a look. As you see, here are the shoes at New Balloon. Okay. And this, this shoe has the New Balance logo on it. Okay. So does this one. These all have the New Balance logo as well. New Balum. These don't really have the New Balance logo on them. Okay. Got this section over here. Some of them have the New Balance logo, but you get the gist. Personally, I wouldn't go shopping here, but what about you? Would you buy the New Balloon shoes? It seems like this store has mostly shoes, whereas the Chimtima one has shoes and clothes and accessories. So that was New Baoloom. Let's go to the ASIC store. I, I don't remember the Chinese name for it, but let's go in there one last place for the fake brands. The last fake store I will show you is ASICS in China at this mall known as Aisashi.
So there you have it. Shimtima, Nubalum, and Eisashi, Eisishi. Now I wanna let you know that um, if you go to many malls, mainly maybe in uh, the foreign, maybe in the cities with many foreigners like Shanghai, Beijing, Chongqing, these places will have the real ASICs, the real New Balances, the real Adidas stores, the real champion stores. But at this particular mall, Wuye, they have the fake brand. So not every mall in China has the fake brands. So there you go, I wanted to show you that. Something I really like about this mall is that it's very family friendly, as I said earlier. There are plenty of things here that you can find where children and families can just enjoy themselves. Like this big, giant, balloon, inflatable thing for children to play with their parents. Here are trains I'm about to show you. At both Yu Wuye malls, they have a train for children. Yes, I have a son, but he's a newborn. He's too young for this. But at the one where in the area I used to live, and at this Wuye mall, they have trains for children. I believe it's about 30 yuan. got these things for children. It seems like some 3D multi-simulator game. You pay the money and you put on the 3D glasses or something to cover your face. It seems like you go to a different world, the world you choose, and it's like Disney Quest when I was younger. Maybe if you're watching this video, you remember Disney Quest, the indoor theme park, the multi-simulator rides. This seems like something that when you ride it, it moves back and forth, side to side and kids have a fun time with this. So this is something you can do for entertainment as well. Here you go, got the sign, VR. I'm assuming it's a VR reality interactive game. That's fun. The area I'm standing at right now, today is different, but very often, especially if you come on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, there are very large concerts here and artists will play on this stage. If you look at my YouTube shorts, it's a very recent video. I had a short of some artists performing and there was K-pop competitions. There are usually chairs everywhere. And sometimes if there's not a concert, they even have children's entertainment. 
on this big screen. There's chairs everywhere and families and children can watch. Usually it's Peppa Pig with Chinese voiceovers. Before I came to China, I've never been to a mall like this where families can just ride around the mall at any floor, including outside on these cars. If I'm still here in a few years and maybe I could take my son on these things, it'd be so cool. As you see in the not too far in front of me, at both Wuye malls I've been to, families can ride these little cars with their children around the mall on several different floors. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever played pool in a mall? Have you ever seen anyone playing pool in a mall? Well, in China, another first time experience, I actually found a place where you can play pool in the mall. Here you go, let's check it out. First time experience for everything. I've never been to a mall where they have pool. I'll have to come back here sometime with my wife and give it a try. Now that I think about it, this is something I could also do with my father-in-law. I could also do it with my father if he ever visits. And I could do it with my brother-in-law when he visits again. So, something I do sometime. When I was in South Korea, anyone who's been to Korea or is has lived in Korea or has or is familiar with Korean culture knows that Plastic surgery is a very big thing there. Now, I have my own personal opinions about that. I don't really, I'm not really down with that, but that's just my opinion. But anyway, in Korea, plastic surgery is very popular. It's a big money-making machine there. And when I, when I came here, I saw that they have plastic surgery center here. Now, in China, plastic surgery isn't as big as Korea, but I guess there is a market for that. How about I show you? This is the plastic surgery center and it's called Mai Zijiang. It's a local Chinese plastic surgery business. And yes, even inside, I guess these people are interested in learning more about it. Here is, I guess, one of their advertisements for how they can change your nose. Some information. As you see in these photos, they have double eyelids plastic nose, okay, their eyes, there you go. Another nice thing about this mall is that there are many places where you can get food, not at restaurants, not even at sit down places, just places where you could just get a snack. How about I show you that as well? On the top floor of this mall, there are many restaurants. There are Chinese restaurants mostly, but there's also some foreign restaurants too. I'll show you that too.
A little over five years ago, I visited Malaysia. And in Malaysia is when I learned about the durian, which is a very smelly fruit. I'll never forget how the hotel in the hallway had a huge sign that said, no durian. It's very smelly. And that's what I'll remember about Malaysia. Here in China, there are many foods with the durian flavor. Pizza, smoothies, milkshakes. My wife doesn't want to try it. I've tried it. Nothing special, but it's all right. But the fruit itself wasn't bad, from what I remember. This restaurant right behind me is brand new. It opened about a couple weeks ago, and I went there with my wife and her parents, and it was not bad. So here you go. It is called La Familia, I think. No, Familia, and this is the new Mexican restaurant. So this is the movie theater at the mall. I've only seen one movie in China in the movie theater. I saw Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes back in May. So essentially, I don't live in a very big city. If you live in a large city like Shanghai, Beijing, any big city, it shouldn't be too difficult to find English movies. But if you live in a place like I do, where it's not a huge city, but it's kind of in between, then finding international movies it's not impossible, but they're shown like maybe once or twice a day. So you have to come at the right time. But um, it is shown in the original dialogue in English, so it's not bad. But some of them might be in um, a voiceover in Chinese. So you have to make sure that the foreign movie is in English, in the original audio. But it's not impossible to find a movie here. The movie Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes I saw with my wife back in May. We saw it at the Wuye Mall, with the other one in the area we used to live in. So it's not impossible to find foreign international movies, but if you live in a big city, I'm sure it's 10 times easier, as we do know that Disney and Marvel have a market here in China. As you see, it's very active. People dancing, having a good time. Well, they're not dancing now, but they were. You hear the stereo over there. There's a lot of kids' attractions outside, a huge area with a lot of places to choose from when it comes to food. Let me show you that really quick. So this area can be considered like street food. There's a lot of vendors out here and you can buy the food and eat it on the spot. You pay and the food's already ready for you. So I've traveled enough to know that I can confidently call this place the street food area. Yeah, when you are traveling to these places, a lot of places are, the people are cooking food on the spot, always, all the time, outside, ready to be served as soon as you pay. 
这也是五八的。As you can see, there are some shops out here too, art places, not just street food style food. There's even some coffee shops, some bakeries, get yourself something sweet. But this place outdoors, this area is mostly food, street food style food. I don't know what this place is, but you get the gist. Not just food, but lots of it. Even a dance studio, it seems like over here. Yes.